All right, hey, what's up, everybody? It's 99. Haven't done a video in a while, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video showing how to save drum kits in Beatmaker 2. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start a new project. I'm gonna select the drum machine and X out so I can uh, load my own samples. All right, so here we have an empty drum machine. And you write it it defaults you to the preset page and what you want to do is go to the sample page and you do that by selecting this uh, waveform icon right here and you're gonna load a sample so select a pad I'm gonna select pad A click load or tap load and normally it'll take you to the last folder that you're at but I'm gonna go all the way back out to my root folder and I'm gonna select content my sample libraries and uh, let's go ahead and pick this one and now I have a few sample folders in here so what I'm going to do is go to my bass drum folder and normally what you do is you select the sample you want to hear and you hit the play button up here and that previews it for you well with the latest Beatmaker 2 update these two additions have been added you have disk streaming and autoplay so if you tap autoplay what it's going to do is allow you to tap any sample and hear it right away. And that's really cool because I've been waiting for that. I hated having to tap that thing every time. So I'm going to choose that one. Hit load and it loads it to pad one. Now also, in the latest update for Beatmaker 2, you have the quick load uh, button right here. So what we're gonna do there is hit quick load and it pops out a little window from the left. And what that does is allow you to look through your folder structure while still being able to view your pads. So you, I'm gonna go back to those folders, my content, my sample libraries, and then I have all my samples. All right, let's go to bass drums again. And since I have autoplay clicked down here, same thing. Just tap the button or tap the sample and it plays. So let's load that one. Now this time, you don't see a load button. And that's because one of the new features is drag and drop. Bam. See? Cool. Now I'm going to go back and go to my snare folder, load some snares. Drag and drop. Cool. Now I got my snares. Back out, go to the hi hats. Oh. To drag and drop, you kind of have to hold it for a second and then drag it. Okay, so let's say you have everything loaded and uh, you want to save out. So to get out of this uh, pop-out screen, you just hit the X next to quick load. Bam. So let's say this is the kit you want to save. Okay, you go back to the preset button, and you go to save preset, because that's what they call them in here. They don't call them kits, they call them presets. Save preset, and it's going to bring you up to your fo uh, folder structure again. Normally, you're not going to have... or you may have these folders or not, whatever, but to make your own folder, you click the Edit Files button, hit Create New Folder, and then we'll just call this uh, Test Kit. Test Kit 1. Okay. And there we go. Now you're in Test Kit 1. Actually, you can still create more folders because that button's still available. To get back out, you have to hit Edit Files, and now you can go into Folders. So you go to test kit, copy samples, 
And what copy samples allows is it allows um, the preset to be saved along with a copy of each file that you have in that kit. That way, let's say you change your uh, sample libraries up. If you load the preset, it's going to search for those samples in the locations that they used to be in. And if they're gone, your preset will be useless. So this allows you to copy the samples over here. And now your preset file will look for the samples in this directory, and they'll always be there with it. So I'm going to click Copy Samples, hit Save. And then I'm just going to name it Test Kit 1. And now it's saved. See here, it says test kit one. So if you want to load a preset, let's go ahead and R hunt. I think that that's a, a stock preset. Okay, now let's say you want to load your preset. Go back to your root. My content, I had it saved under test kit one. It made a folder for it. And now you have everything that you saved. There you go. That's how you save your own kits and your own presets. So uh, thanks for watching. Follow me on YouTube, Necron99. Peace.